Hello, today I'll be showing you guys how to recreate this uh, force field effect in Roblox Studio. So, first of all, um, let me actually just get, first you're gonna get a part, uh, just kind of obvious. Put this part to any size you want because this force field effects work with uh, uh, any size. Now, you're gonna set the material uh, to force field because this effect only works with this material. Now, you're gonna add a special mesh into your part make sure to special mesh because uh, not like the other meshes now you see the mesh made this made the part smaller now we're gonna resize the mesh so we're gonna copy the size from the part so you're gonna go into the part properties copy the size and put it inside the scale the scale property of the mesh now it's gonna get a bit taller and this will look weird but uh, it won't look weird once we put a texture ID in now here's where the cool part comes in if we go into the toolbox right and you know uh let's just get this one so this effect doesn't only work like this it can work with any image so if i put an image inside of the texture id it's gonna see it's gonna uh, have that image just like fading and like glowing on the force field not really sure why this happens but it does happen now if you want to do something like this uh what you're gonna do is you're going to get the um, image ID I put in the description of the video uh, and you're gonna put that into the texture ID so now it's gonna look like this but how do you change the color of it you might be wondering now if you want to change the color of it you have to do uh, change the vertex color of the mesh changing the color of the part won't really do anything so you have to change the vertex color so for example if I wanted to make it blue I would do something like this or I could do something like this to make it a bit lighter or something like this so yeah and that's basically it so have fun adding this effect to your own Roblox games not really sure why this happens but yeah it happens so yeah